today. When you started with the series, did you have any idea what change and impact that would have of having more different diversity, different colors on TV? Because it was so different to everything else. I had been on television. For 20 years before I did Fresh Prince, <laughs> we made a lot of changes back in the late 70s and 80s with diversity on television. So I was kind of used to it. What I was surprised at with this project, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, was how popular it has remained over the years. But it sort of was the first big global thing, because there was the Cosby family, which was popular, but in Germany, yeah, it was like, like say middle field. But then there was Fresh Prince and other We had had other television shows in the 70s and 80s. And no, I'm talking about a lot of other television programs. My husband was on WKRP in Cincinnati and it was global. Yeah. And Simon and Simon was global. Yeah. So we were used to that. Um, I was surprised and pleased at how very, very popular Fresh Prince was all over the world. And that was delightful. And it was this very different kind of humor. And um, he was so, I don't know. He was so charming. Yes. Charming he was so charming. Nerdy and, and it was just a delight the different characters that came out of that show and how we were allowed to embrace that character and, and grow with that character. So it, it was one of my favorite um, experiences, yes. but I've had a lot of favorite experiences on television. So um, there was a show called Frank's Place that was my favorite show and it was set in New Orleans and it only ran for one year on CBS but it was a beautiful beautiful show so there are things that I have a lot of pride in because of the quality of the work that I've been able to do and the quality of the work that the people around me have been able to pull off so I was honored to be cast in this uh, situation and I was only halfway through Fresh Prince, so I only got the last three years, but they embraced me as if I had been there the whole time. So it was a wonderful experience. When you see the situation today, um, what is your kind of, um, when you say, um, gift you give to others? Because there is the change, and now this is so incredible that there is almost no border, no limits. It's, it's almost equal. That tiny little thing. Nowadays, <laughs> this is the old lady speaking, is very different from what television used to be. Now that there are so many platforms and access points that you can see programming. So there's so much more programming, but there's so much less support from, say, a television network when there were only three television networks. The actors had a lot more support and we were kind of guided through press and, and how the show was received. But now it's just kind of thrown out there. Everybody, oh, you can put anything you want on any platform. And what now is the struggle is to make sure that the eyeballs go to your show. So that's very different from how it was. So to have Fresh Prince be on so many platforms and to be playing to our third generation of children is just a delight. When you see Will Smith right now, did, did anyone have an idea that he would be so high in the sky and still be him because he did not change at all? He did not change at all, but we knew of his professionalism, of his dedication to his business part of show business, and he's a very, very smart man. So 
He made good choices, surrounded himself with good people, and he works harder than any five people that I know. So I'm really proud of him, as a mother would be, but being an auntie, I'm proud of him too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for asking.